All right, you guys. So welcome to your workout. So we're gonna get started here with just body weight warm up. So what I have first is just a squat pulse with the knee. So I want you guys to take a wider stance here. We're gonna come down to the bottom. We're gonna pulse it, and then we're gonna bring that knee up and across, okay? So have a seat, get nice and deep into that squat, and then twist through the waist, right? A really nice twist. And let's start to head into, uh, into lots of legs today. So make sure you guys modify too. And if you need to go lighter, go lighter, but you could definitely uh, increase your weight on some of these moves here. So we got the bigger muscles there, those legs. All right, so you're gonna give me about 12 more seconds right here, and then we're going into side lunges, all right? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're just gonna go side lunges. So right here, and if you wanna go all the way down and touch, you can, and then you're just gonna to switch to that other side, right? So you're taking some nice big steps out, side to side, shifting your weight behind you. Now, if you wanted to up the intensity there, you would just add like a little shuffle in the middle, which is kind of fun. Still, still low impact, right? Not too bad. So you're just shuffling side to side right here. 10, nine, and you can see, I just literally bend at my waist, right? I bend at my waist right there. Five, four, three, two, one, and there it is. So then we're coming down. We're gonna do some mountain climbers um, and some plank jacks. So you're gonna give me right here, one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna give me two plank jacks. Okay, so one, two, three, four, two plank jacks. We're here for about 20 seconds, keeping those hands right under your shoulders, and then just pump those knees into your chest. Okay, 15. Okay, 10 more seconds and we're up. Back to those squat pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Right back up to the top. All right, so we're gonna add that pulse. Take a wider stance, let's go just slightly wider than that first set. Pulse and bring that knee up. Okay, we're kind of quick about the moves here. Okay, and bring that knee up. All right, get it up to that elbow instead of coming down with your elbow. Looks great, stay right there. 10 more seconds and then we're gonna go right to that side lunge with the option to add the shuffle, okay? Get low. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then let's go. Right into that side lunge, you can start, okay? Kind of low impact, and then if you want to, okay, you can amp it up a little bit with that shuffle, okay? Right here, side to side. And you can try to keep your head up above, right? Head up above your heart there, and just kind of like a look out in front of your feet, just a couple inches, and that should work good for where your head position should be, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, okay. So let's go down now. We've got those four mountain climbers and then those two plank jacks, let's hit it. One, two, three, four, two plank jacks, let's go. Be a little quicker on the plank jacks, okay? And really quick on those mountain climbers. Try, try super speed. One, two, three, four. Two quick plank jacks, 10 seconds. Okay, we're right back up to the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, walk it back up. You guys ready to do this? Let's go even wider, okay? Third set, almost out to that sumo squat position. Okay, we'll pulse on it, and then we'll crunch up that knee. Let's go, let's go. Sit back in those heels, right? Sit back in those heels. Good job. Perfect, guys, perfect. Stay right there. I'm gonna adjust my view here. You guys got, there we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, side lunges. Let's go right to that side lunge. Okay, shift your weight back. 
Okay, come across, little, little pop in the middle if you want it. So hopefully we're getting sweaty now. We got those legs loosened up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna start with some deadlifts first. You could also use kettlebells, you guys, in place of the dumbbells. If you have access to some kettlebells, okay, we can always grab those for the heavier stuff. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and let's go. Down to those mountain climbers. Four mountain climbers, two plank jacks. Quickly, let's go. Right, pushing the pace, pushing the pace. Come on, 15 seconds, a little quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so this first circuit, we are gonna have like basically four things, okay? So normally I have three, um, but we're gonna do four, but they're gonna kind of fit really nicely together. So first one is just a regular deadlift, okay? We're gonna go with our feet almost right under our hips, okay? And then you're just gonna hold the weights, okay? I'm gonna have you add some rows in um, on our second move. So if you wanna grab what you need, right? You're gonna stack your feet right under your hips, you're gonna really just kind of push your weight out behind you, right? And then you're gonna slide right back up, okay? Let's engage those hamstrings. Let's lead with our chest, okay? And like I said, I've got lighter weight, but I think that if you've got the heavy stuff, okay, you should grab heavy at least on this first one, and then you can drop back on the rows that we're gonna do, okay? So we're here, really good reps. I'll give you 30 seconds on this first set here. Okay, sink in your heels. It's not a squat, right? You're not really bending the knee too much. We're keeping the legs pretty stiff, okay? Right here. We'll go 15 more seconds. Keep your shoulders back. Okay, looks great. Looks really good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we'll run into those back rows. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge down, we're gonna do a triple row, and I was gonna have you do reverse grip, which means that my palms are gonna be facing out here, okay? I have my feet just a little bit wider than my hips, okay? I took them out just a little bit wider, got those palms facing out, I'm gonna do a triple back row, okay? And then I'm gonna stand fully up, come out of that, squeeze my butt, and then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna hinge right down to that flat back position, I'm gonna slide my elbows right along my ribs, up and back for three reps, and then I'm gonna stand up and squeeze my butt, okay? So we're here, I'm gonna give you plenty of time, okay, really squeeze between those shoulder blades as you bring those elbows up. Think about the middle of your back, right? Think about the middle of your back, looks great. Let your eyes just go right in front of your toes, neck in a neutral position. From here, let's take about 20 more seconds, so my back is already burning. You don't need a ton of weight for this, okay? Right, stand up and squeeze at the top there. Deep breaths, okay? Deep breaths, come on, let's go. 12 seconds, pull them back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm gonna do one more set here, all right? And then I got lunges for you, all right? How good is that? All right, so we're gonna lunge and we're gonna do a single arm upright row. So when I lunge back with my right leg, Okay, I'm gonna bring my right arm up here for that single right there. And then when my left leg goes back, I'm gonna row up on that other side. So it's an upright row with a reverse lunge, single arm row. And you're just leading with your elbow, sliding that dumbbell right up to that V, right there where your arm meets your shoulder, right? Where your arm meets your chest. Okay, big steps back. Just keep your eyes up. Good, you guys. And you can let that back knee hit the floor, okay? I'm letting that back knee tap just a little bit. Really good angles on the legs. Right here for 15 more seconds. Okay, those arms should be feeling good. Okay, just keep those eyes up. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, and then we've got some walkouts, right? I figure we'll get this one out of the way. This is a tough circuit. Okay, I'm gonna use my mat here. We're gonna walk out, okay? We're gonna do a push up. We're gonna do two shoulder taps, and then we're gonna walk right back in. And to save time, I'm thinking that maybe you just keep your hands on the floor the whole time, right? Without fully standing up. So you can take kind of the legs wider right here, okay? You're gonna come down, you're gonna have the push up, you're gonna add two shoulder taps, and then you're just gonna walk yourself right back in and right back out. Inch warm in, inch warm out, let's go. Push up, okay? Add those two top shoulder taps, and then right back up. Now, if you need to do the push up on your knees, you can do that. If you need to leave the push up out, you can just give me two shoulder taps. Okay, we'll take about 20 more seconds here, and then we're right back in with that deadlift, all right? Okay, full body in four moves. Ten more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You can finish the one you're on, and then you can go ahead and grab your dumbbells, and then we go right back in with that deadlift, okay? So we're just gonna grab and go. As soon as you're up, jump in with me, feet right under the hips, shoulders roll back and down. All right, gang, so we're leading again. You're leading, okay, with that chest, keeping those shoulders back and down. Weights are literally on the edge of my skin, right? I slide right down below the knee and then right back up. All right, got those legs pretty stiff. So we're gonna have lots, lots of booty work um, today. I've got single leg glute bridges for you guys, um, which will be really fun. And then um, in the next couple workouts, you're gonna see some, um, some Bulgarian split squats, which is something that we don't typically do. So we're gonna do some of those, um, which really all you need is like a chair or just an elevated spot. Okay, you're gonna give me two more, squeeze. One more there. And then you're going right into that bent row. Now if you need to switch your weights, switch your weights, right? You're gonna take the grip, turn the palms out. Okay, you're gonna to hinge to the knee right here. And then you're gonna row those elbows back three times. Right, fully squeeze between your blades and then stand up. Okay, don't skimp on these rows. Drive those weights like you're pulling them back right below my rib cage, just kind of where my dumbbell lands. Okay, you can pull it right into the bottom of your rib cage there. Go ahead and stand it up. Nice and strong, nice and strong, right, guy? Come on. Looks great, looks great. How about 15 more seconds? Yes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm gonna do one more set and then I'm gonna go right to those lunges, okay? Switching the weight if you needed to. Okay, we're gonna go right in. Now my knuckles are on the outside now, right? I'm gonna row back right to the front of the shoulder. Really big lunges back. And then we have those walkouts. You're gonna go right to that walkout, which will feel good. It'll loosen up the legs. Right. Woo. So good, so good. Roll it up, it's close to the body. Come on. 15. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights to the side. Okay, feet about as wide as your mat, right? Feet about as wide as your mat. We walk out, push up on the toes or the knees. Okay, two quick taps and right back in. Keeping those hands on the floor the whole time. Inch form out. Come on, power through your push up. Power through your palms, right? Really push out. Keep those elbows close to your body. We're gonna do two more. We're gonna do two more, team. You're gonna do two more, and then you're gonna meet me in those deadlifts. Let's go. 
Try to finish it up in about seven seconds, okay? Five, four, three, finish the one you're on. And then we're gonna go right back to the top, picking up those weights, okay? I'll get started and you guys just jump in, okay? Feet under the hips, and we go. Hinge at that hip, right? Push it back, squeeze on the way up, right? Feel those hamstrings all the way through the move, on the way down, and then all the way on the way up. Come on. Good stuff, right? Good stuff. Let's stay right here. 15 more seconds. Right into those bent rows. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, I'm going just slightly wider on the feet. Palms turn out, hinging, and going. Okay, let's do this. The best you've got now on this third set. Come on. Probably one of my favorite moves here, these reverse grip rows. You're gonna feel these quickly. All right, and they just help really shape that upper back. Okay. Awesome. Super strong, let's go guys. After this set, I'm gonna do two more. So I'm gonna give you about 12 more seconds. Finish up, 12. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There you have it. Okay, reverse lunges. Let's go. Whew. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, right? Push, right? Pushing, pulling. Let's go. 15 seconds. Awesome, hey, legs feeling it. Already, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, let's walk it out. This will feel good, you guys. Okay, stretch out. We have more squats coming next. Got 30 seconds here. Then you're gonna get a drink and we're moving on. Your best, right? Your best, come on. Okay, 15 seconds to go, 15. Show you what's next so I'm gonna use um, some squats again um, we're gonna hit a squat with a pulse kind of like we did in the warm-up and then I'm gonna have you add a good morning now it's similar to what we were just doing like a deadlift you're gonna feel it kind of on the back side of the legs and the glutes we're gonna take a nice wide stance though so there is a little more bend in the knee than what we were doing on those straight leg deadlifts and it's gonna target the glutes more so um, again I'm gonna do this good morning. So I like my weights on my shoulders. So I would say you don't need to go super heavy. If you don't love it on your shoulders, all right, then you can just hang two dumbbells. And with a wide stance, you might have to hang them in the middle. Or if you have a kettlebell, you can always just hold that. Okay, so I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna show you. So I'm popping them here. Okay, so I'm really just waiting up my legs and it's gonna add more for my core. Now I've got my legs nice and wide here. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna hit that squat pulse, right? And then I'm gonna stand up and then I'm gonna tip forward right there. Okay, I'm gonna almost let those elbows like touch the top of my thighs, right? I'm gonna just hinge forward, hips go back. You can see my knees are bent a little bit there. And then I'm really bending them down into that squat, all right? So let's get started here. If you don't love them on your shoulders, all right, and then like I said, you could hang them right here, which it would look like this, 
you would give me that nice big squat and then you would stand up and you would just do a deadlift right there, okay? I'm gonna let you decide what's best for you. We'll hang right here for about 20 more seconds on this first set and then we have a single press um, with our squat, okay? We're gonna do a single press turn with our squat and then what do I have here for you guys? I have pop squats, right? And jumping jacks, nothing fancy, just some good old cardio for the legs, okay? Give me eight more seconds. Seven, get low, six, five, four, we can do one more set. Three, two, one, and there you have it. Now, I'm gonna stay kind of wide here. So you're gonna see here, we're gonna hold the weights now at the front of the shoulder. And like our lunge, we're gonna do a single, a single side, basically. So you're gonna squat down, you're gonna turn and press out. You're gonna squat down, you're gonna turn and press out. So you give a little pivot off of those toes, press yourself all the way out, let your eyes kind of go in the direction, okay, that you're pivoting. Go deep and then go high on that press, right? Deep squat, high press. You're gonna stay right here, 20 seconds, right? 20 seconds, those shoulders feeling strong, right? Feeling good, 15. All the way out, gang. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so now you can just swap those weights to the side. This circuit's gonna go faster. So we're gonna go pop squats. Two pop squats, two jumping jacks, probably one of my favorite combos right here. So you're gonna go one pop squat, two pop squats, and then two jumping jacks. All right, pop out. Nice and wide. If you can't get down all the way to the floor, okay, then you can just try, right? Try to go down as far as you can. Make it work. Come on. Chance to get that heart rate up. Push the pace. 20 seconds. We're right back to the top, okay? Right back to the top. Pop out wide. Awesome, right? Awesome. Cool. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, grab your weights. Wow, so sweaty, right? Pop them up, take it wide, toes out a little bit, and let's go. Drop it down, add that pulse, fully stand up, and then hinge yourself out. So good for the core. Breathe with me, come on. Inhale, and then exhale slowly. Let's keep it going, 15 seconds. And then you got those squat press turns, right? Yes, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, one more set. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, here we go. On that press turn, okay, I've got those legs kind of wide still. Okay, we come on down, we turn and press out. Okay. I love this because I feel this, right? All the way through the side of my body there. Stretching it out, right? Stretching it out. Strong push. Come on. Power out, gang. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, weights to the side, weights to the side. Okay, two palm squats, here we go. Start with your feet together. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Out, out, and then two jacks. Okay, quick. Come on. Heart rate up. A little faster. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Okay, back to the top one more time. Let's go. Okay, feet wide, core tight. Let's drop it and go. Drop it and go. So good. So here's what's coming. You have one more circuit for the legs and you have one more circuit for core, okay? I'm gonna give you a little challenge here for your upper body in just a second. So we give our legs some relief. All right, drop it low. Stand up, squeeze, and then hinge forward. Okay, separate it, make each one clean. Okay, you've got 12 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and there it is. Okay, I'm gonna turn my light on, it's getting kinda dark. All right, squat, press, turns, right? Squat, press, turns. Weights up. Whoo, heart rate is definitely up. Let's go, let's go. Sit low, press high. All the way, right, all the way. Come on. Good work, guys, good work. 15 seconds. All the way. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. Okay. Feet together. We pop it out. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 1, 2, right here. All right. Come on. Be quick, right? Be quick. Great job. 15. A little faster. Go, come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there it is. Okay. So I told you I got a little challenge for you. Um, we're gonna hit some push-ups, and then we are going to um, do some um, push-backs with our push-ups. So come on down, we're gonna do um, push-ups, and then we'll do some push-backs, and then we're gonna just repeat that a couple times. So try it with me, guys. You can do the push-ups, okay, on your toes, or you can do them on your knees. So you come on down, okay, we're going right into push-ups. Just good old-fashioned push-ups here. Okay, let's go on the knees or on the toes. Okay, watch the elbows. Keep your eyes right about where your tips of your fingers are, right, towards the top. I'm heading down to my knees. You're only here for about 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna do those pushbacks. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. and one. So then you're either gonna push back into child's pose and then rock forward, or I want you to try it on your toes here. You're coming up in a plank position, and then you're just going into that blast off, and then you're straightening yourself back out, all right? You're blasting off there, and then you're straightening back into a plank. So I'm bending my knees, pushing my arms all the way back, and then resetting myself. Keep your hands right under your shoulders. Okay, when you reset your plank, they should be right under your shoulders. We're going right back to push-ups, guys. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna let, let my knees hit the floor. Okay, we're going right back to push-ups. Okay, you've got about 15 seconds of push-ups. Let's go. Come on, all right, those arms are feeling it. Good stuff, squeeze the glutes, keep the bottom down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back up into our plank position. Couple of push-backs, here we go. This will feel good, right? Push it back. Reset it, make yourself as long as possible on that plank, right? Draw the heels back. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, one more time on those push ups. 10 seconds of push ups. Here we go. 3, 2, 1, and let's go again. Okay, come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Up in that plank, you're pushing it back. Again, we go kind of fast. Let's do it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. There it is. All right, that should have got those shoulders, your chest, loosen up the back a little bit, and your triceps in like two minutes, right? That was great. So sweaty. All right, so we're back to the legs, and then we have core. Again, this one will be kind of quick, but we are gonna go down to the floor. So I have those single leg glute bridges for you. Um, so what we're gonna start with is a curtsy lunge, okay? Nothing fancy. I was gonna have you pass a weight, so if you wanna use a dumbbell here, um, if you want to load up and just hold some really heavy stuff or pop it back on your shoulders, you could do that too. So all I'm doing here is a curtsy lunge and then I'm just kind of passing it, okay, right here. You can hit it like almost to your toe there as you alternate, okay, you can stay kind of low. I kind of like that, just kind of pass it quickly right there, eyes forward, right, you can hit the toe. It would be good if I had a really heavy dumbbell. So I would probably say if you've got something heavy, grab that, okay? All right, I'm working with what I have though. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and there it is, okay? And then let's see here. I have a kneeling press up. So we're gonna be on the floor, let me adjust this a little bit for you guys here. So what we're gonna do is go down into like a, you know, a kneeling position. And if you don't love this, okay, a modified version would be a squat. So I'm gonna do a squat or I'm gonna do this kneeling press up one weight, okay? We're gonna go around the world with it right here. Now I did this workout the other day with a kettlebell and I held the end of the kettlebell, a nice heavy one, okay? And I'll tell you what, it was, it was a crusher. So like I said, if you've got something heavy, a single dumbbell or kettlebell, grab it and use it here. If you don't love this on your knees, then you do a squat. And as you come up out of that squat, then you halo that weight. Okay. Keep it at your chin and don't let your arms slack. Okay. Don't let your arms slack. I'm going to stay right here. Squeeze the glutes. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and there it is, right? I love that. And then I'm going for that glute bridge. So you're gonna come on down, okay? And you can use your one little bag here, and then you're just gonna pop them on your lap, okay? So I'm gonna have one leg up, and I'm just coming down, and then I'm driving out, okay? You can kind of put that weight on that leg that's not moving, right? You kind of put that weight just kind of on that hip, Okay, you want to have that heel kind of close to your body. So your hips come down a little bit and then you drive out, right? Really squeeze, let the hips drop a little and then push up. Hips drop a little bit and push up. It's not a huge move, but I'll tell you what, that leg that's not moving, right? That's burning, right? Drop that heel almost to the floor and then bring that knee up closer to your chest and you're driving out of that heel that's not moving. Come on, push. A little harder, we'll switch legs. Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, right? Wow. Burn is for real. Bring that other heel in nice and close, all right? Drop down and then drive up. Okay, it takes a second to kind of figure out what you're feeling, right? Get everything kind of moving together. I'm so uncoordinated with this, but I'll tell you what, it works, right? It works. Let me take my leg out a little bit further. There we go. Down and then up, right? Down just a couple inches and then out. Breathe, look up, right? Relax your chin and let's keep pushing on this leg. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Okay, right back up, you guys. Right back up to that curtsy lunge. Let's go. Stop. Wow. Okay. Are we ready? 
You can stay kind of low, pass your weight. So you see, I mean, my heart rate is up. My legs don't want to go. Like, my legs don't want to go. They're, they're going. I'm going to make them go. Come on. Pass it. You want to take really nice big steps behind you and out to the side, right? So we focus on the glutes there. Try to get that front thigh, okay? Parallel to the floor as you pass that weight and then try to get almost down to the toe with it. All right, come on. Short time, 12 seconds. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Right down to our kneeling halo. Okay, come on down. You want to separate the knees a little bit. Start with that weight right at your chin. Okay, you're going to sit back and then circle up and around. Okay, or you're doing a squat here. chance on this one to breathe a little bit. Great, you guys. So good. Squeeze hard. Squeeze hard. 15. Good. 10, 9, 8, good. 7, 6, yes. 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Okay, let's go, you guys. All right. All right. Pop it up, right? Eyes up, chin up. Take those heels in, lift one leg, and then start to go, guys. Start to go. Really push. You can dig your elbows in a little bit. That's kind of like a little, a little help, right? A little help. Dig them in. Keep pushing. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch. I'm passing it over to the other leg. Here we go. So remember, it's not a huge move. It's not a huge move, but you really do feel it in that stationary side, right? In that side that's not moving, right? In that glute, big, big. And you're getting a little core here too, right? A little hammies. Push, push, come on, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Okay, right back up to the top. Let's finish it. This is it for the legs. Okay, we're going right to core. Okay. Give me a solid. It takes about, what, 90 seconds or so. Maybe, maybe just a little bit longer and we'll be finished with these legs, okay? So, you should be feeling this. Your booty should be burning right now. Third set, okay, we should be feeling this. And I thought that this would be great, you know? We've got, what? bathing suit season coming up and I just figured that you know the legs are the game changers right those help change the rest of your body you train the legs the rest of the body just kind of follows in suit because the cardio is better right you're tending to burn more calories okay when we work those legs and we all want to better behind right let's go that's what I want <laughs> come on 10 9 8 7 6 five, four, three, let's do one more. And then you go right to the floor, okay? Right to the floor or your squat, okay? Grab your weight and we go, okay? Think about it, right? Really squeeze the buttons as hard as you can without overextending those hips, right? Stop them at the top there and just really focus on squeezing your butt, okay? You shouldn't feel this in your lower back at all. Move that weight though, big circle, and then right to the chin. Come on. 15 seconds, we're hitting those bridges, and then that's gonna run us right into our abs, okay? So we're gonna stay down on the ground. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's go. All right, I've got crunches for you guys right away, right away. So let's go get those heels moving, All right? Get that leg up, dig, dig. So 
high as you can. Oh my gosh. Stronger. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh my gosh. Switch it. Other side. Here we go. Up. Drive out, right? Drive out that extra little inch. We're close. You're going to go right to crunches. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my legs up for the crunch and we're going to do some cross crunches. Okay. And some crunches up the middle. Eight, seven. This is it. Come on. Squeeze. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay. You can set your weights to the side. If you need a quick sip of water, you guys go ahead and grab a quick sip. So we're going to come down into a recline position here. So you're going to give me, okay, one across, one across, and then two up the middle, okay? So coming across with one, coming across with the other, and then come in with both. You should, when you come across, okay, with the right elbow, okay, that right elbow comes across, I feel that on my left oblique, if that makes sense, right? That right elbow comes across, I crunch on that left side, left elbow comes across, I crunch on that right side. Right here for about 15 more seconds. Let's go one across, one across, and then crunch it up the middle. And let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then you're going to come up, okay, into like a position that we do for like twist, right? And you're going to give me those heel taps right here, same jam. You're going to give me one, okay, There's a one, and then you're going to give me two, all right? You can let your heels rest. You can go one, you can go the other, and then you go two. Now, if you want extra, then you just leave the feet off the floor, okay? Lean back, look up, relax, and keep breathing. We're going to go right in with reverse crunches, okay, as our third move, and that is our circuit. So it's going to go fast, okay? I know it burns quick. You're only here for 10 more seconds. Come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, and then we're going back into those reverse crunches. So you lay back here, okay? You're gonna go up and then you're gonna go out with your legs, okay? So you're gonna take them up, give them a little lift at the top, and then you're taking them out. Now, if you need to, just put your hands okay, near your lower back, or if you need to hold on to something, right, you can always hold on to the bottom of a couch or a chair, right, we're going right here, and then we're back in with those crunches. I'm going to have you do a little bit of a hold here. In about 15 seconds, you're just going to hold those legs out for six inches, and we'll count to 10, and we'll go back to the crunch, okay? Give me eight more seconds here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, legs out, six inches in this hold. Okay, shoulder blades up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're right back to the top. Okay, you've got those tabletop knees. Here we go, one across, one across, and then both up the middle. Now we should be feeling it a little bit faster on this set, come on. All right, bring those elbows across. Eyes up, squeeze, squeeze. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then we're up. Like I said, put yourself back on a little bit of a lean. You can let those heels rest. So it's one, one, and then two, let's go. Knee coming in towards your shoulder and then both come in towards your chest, right? One in, one in, two in. These will get you, this one will get you. It doesn't look that bad, but it will get you. Hey, come on. I got 15 and then we go right to those reverse crunches, right? In, up, and then out. Come on, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let yourself out. Hands can be under your bottom there or out to the sides or under your furniture or something. Let's go. Ready? Up and then out. Those hips up, little lift, and then push those heels out. We'll go right into that six inch hold next. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, out and hold. You guys ready? Shoulders up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let's go. Last set. Last set, guys. Best you got. Come on. One, one, and then two. Let's go. Let me see it. Squeeze. Come on, like you mean it. Like you mean it. Good stuff, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come up a little bit. Whew. So, like I said, you guys, I've got some Bulgarian split squats coming our way, which are really challenging. Um, and I'll uh, get into that on our next workout. And then we'll do some bird dogs, I believe, on the next thing I have kind of planned. But lots of booty, lots of legs. But I promise you, you're still going to use your arms and your core. Okay, you're right here. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Okay, this finishes us up. Go up and out, and we're gonna hold. Maybe we'll do a little 15 second hold at the end. I love these, right? It's the upper abs and those lower abs. Come on. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You guys ready? Three, two, one, up, let's hold, go. Hollow out your body. Place your hands near your lower back if you need to. 12, shoulders up, eyes up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yay! Right, we did it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hope you guys loved it out there. YouTube, you guys stay with your workouts. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys have a great day out there and we'll catch up again soon. All right.